The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Thursday, November the 4th. This is the Tiger Technician's Hour. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing my show at 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 Eastern Time, 8 till 9. Uh, we're looking at the Dow right now down 21 at 36,135. Not participating with the others, uh, going to all-time all highs so far. Uh, the day is young, 30, 36,178 was the all-time high yesterday. Let me just put that in, 36,178. And... Uh, it is a, a leg E, could be a peak E today. This is where you start to expect some kind of uh, digestive phase. But after this peak D, if there is a really big move for leg E, it, it can, in fact, especially when it's uh, uh, close to an instant restart, it can, in fact, recycle to the upside. I don't know if that's going to happen at this particular point. We've, we've, we've got a little insurance now. Uh, because we've taken profits from our uh, long diamonds on the short term, still have the core position from way, way back, Mont, uh, April of last year. Uh, all I can say is, within this context, the only the notation of the Chapman wave and the on-balance volume being overbought are signals that there could be some kind of a digestive move here. But um, the day is young. We'll see what happens by the close. A couple of things that we have to talk about now is that if the S&P, which has gone to an all-time high, is still in leg D, and that weekly chart is in leg E, and the monthly chart is only in leg B, having gone in two legs to the upside from 21.91 back in March of 2020 to today's high of 46.77, uh, basically a double, right? What we're looking at is how does it consolidate if this is the case? And you remember, I like, to, I like to talk about the market in terms of news. And if the market takes any news that's out there as negative and starts to uh, be wary and being nervous about that news, that's when you see sell-offs. And it can only be sustained. You remember I was talking about this yesterday. If the VIX index, the volatility index, is pushing much higher. We're right now down at the 14.78 level. And that's the reason why I was saying you can't really anticipate, unless your timing is absolutely perfect, going to something like a 200% along the UVXY, something like that. You just, I think it's 200%. You just can't do that because your timing has to be so perfect. You have a little bit of room sometimes when you can go on the inverse in the uh, contracts, like, like a, say, the SQQQ, which is three times short the Qs. Uh, but they move so quickly, especially volatility, because it has to do even not just the chart, not just uh, what the charts are saying, but it has human emotion multiplied and it manifests itself with extremely big percentage moves in the volatility index. So you just have to be very careful. So what we're looking at here is the QQQ is only in leg C. That means it should pull back. So the S&P is very strong in this leg E, which is very powerful in the S&P. This leg C, just the C, has really become almost like a Chapman Wave propeller shaft with this momentary one-day pause, and you've got yourself a one-to-one -one move, I've already drawn it in from the breakout of the falling axe formation, how positive that was. But now we can do this. You can actually do that, go from there to there. Uh, let me do this. Click on it. Get yourself a new parallel. Change the color to pink. And lo and behold, what do you have? You have a move that says 400 is a possibility. We're at 396.15. So you could get a pullback and then a move towards the three uh, high 390s 
into the 401 area. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm just saying that's kind of one of the ways that I use measured moves. And that would be a parallel. I love the, you see, the whole idea of the Chapman wave ex parallel extension is it takes the same number of bars or the same degree of angle, diagonal angle, to get there. So this is where we are. So, so far, that is, look, the on balance volume is extremely overboard. Look at the relative strength. I haven't seen a relative strength this this strong in the queues in a very long time. So, so far, the weight of evidence says that the NDX 100 trading vehicle, the QQQ Trust Series, is doing extremely well. It's broken out to all time highs, way above the previous high. That was the high that was made back in the week of the 10th of September at 382.78. Well, 14 points above that. So that is really impressive, actually. All right, so it's, it's going to be bad news that has to take the market down, not just a day or two, but really holds it down, and we don't have that just yet. Look at the IWM. IWM, the Russell 2000, became a leader. All of a sudden was lagging, 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 drops to the 220. Uh, 324 area and the next thing you know boom it's here at an all-time high of 240.83 in fact it's at the high as we speak it's up 2.22 so the iShares the Russell 2000 has become a leader so so far these these are good actions now let's go to the uh, we'll go to gold gold has had a nice move to the upside very nice move 34 points up <laughs> 34 is a 34 points down now it's 34 points up getting to the 200 period moving average of 18.01. And remember, this is, this is one of those situations where it's in play, but it's in play for these big moves intraday and maybe for a couple of days and then reverses course. If gold actually starts to trade in the trade, and let me just hit it once, but trade in the 1820s, any time between uh, this coming Monday, and next Friday, so the whole of next week, if it does that, that is going to be very impressive because we just go to silver. Silver is also up. Silver is up quite nicely. It's up um, 0.84 at 24.08. It was lagging. Gold still lagging, and it needs to get to the 200 period moving average of 24.62, which is the repellent zone after it went there just slightly higher to the 24. What was that? 78. No, 2492 level on the 22nd of October, and it dropped quite sharply to 23s, coming back very nicely. Yes, yes, I had a question. I can do this. You can draw Chapman Wave inside track, repellent zones, more like a channel, and it's just above it right now, so that is a very big positive. Let's look at high grade copper quickly. High grade copper is down at its most recent lows 4.34, did hit 4.68 at peak D. Chapman wave and now it's pulled back very sharply. Now, what we're looking at is within the context of these uh, different instruments, we have to look at the dollar. And the dollar had a really nice move. It popped to a new recovery high after the high of four days ago. It's trading in 94.22 inner range in the higher range, the 94.56 peak effort on the 12th of October. Saw quite a bit of a pullback, but it's now gone right back into the higher part of the range. EUR USD as we go to the break. This is the Euro dollar currency pair. Credit age back, click the top. The USD JPY. This is the Japanese yet. All very nice, but not big. I'll be back in the moment, Dow's down 14. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. Just real quickly, the E-Mini S&P, it's a separate contract. has gone to a link in the one-minute chart. A spectacular move. Look at the green all the way from the 200-period moving average at about 46.58. And now we're trading at 46.74 and still green, looking very nice. Uh, now, what's really interesting is we've got this divergence. The Dow is down five. The S&P is up 22. Uh, just real quickly, in the den, a number of people have played this. Sava, this is Cassava Sciences Biotech. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, it got stopped. Uh, the trading was stopped earlier on. And then they had a release to say that there, were no, there was no finding of, I guess, any illegitimacy of, of, of credibility in terms of their, uh, uh, in terms of, some people had said that perhaps there was um, something going on, but it was checked out and everything's everything's kosher. So now what we're looking at is it suddenly goes from uh, the 50s, screams up to 100.00, round number high. It opened at 69, round number, hit 100, and now it's trading at 84.97. Spectacular move. Uh, this is a stock that hit 146, had a little bit of a cascade down to 40. And now it's trading at 84, double that. So this is a wild one. What we are looking at is um, a couple of things going on here. And I just want you to get to them just to finish up because I've, a, lot of, a lot of questions came in um, about semiconductors, NVIDIA, um, about China, etc. So let me just get to this real quickly. I just want to show you. So crude oil uh, is pulling back from the intraday high. We had a choice today. We had a beautiful short position in the SCO at $12.75. That's when crude oil was at about 83.35, and we went short right there. So this is just off like a dollar, dollar two off the all-time high, and it came down. It made the dreaded H pattern that we always talk about, and it took it out yesterday. It was a huge move. We did take a little bit off for a very nice gain, and then it hit. At the close, it was at eight. Uh, let me just double check. SCO. It hit uh, 13. Point, I think it was 80. 13.80, exactly. So we're at 12, uh, 1275. I hope some of you took something off. Just didn't even have time. It hit that, and I thought, well, if it even pulls back a tad today, we can take something off. Well, 
we, we, we got out with a profit, uh, but nothing like it was. I mean, it was almost a 10% gain just days um, for this uh, SEO. And I should have said, you know what, let's keep that and add. I, I don't want to mess around. The, there's, you know, OPEX got scheduled different conferences. They're talking about this. I just, as an overnight position, it's real tough. So we'll be back. I'm sure we'll be back. I think crude oil has made some kind of a top here. Maybe I should have kept just a tiny little bit. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, crude oil, I think, is in a failure mode on the short term. Not the, the monthly chart is still at a leg D at an all-time high of 85.65 back in October. It slumps down to $7.61 in April. Remember, the futures went minus, minus. Uh, and then it rallies back to 85.41 um, a week and a half ago. That That's within pennies of the all-time high after three years, exactly three years. So I think it's a, having a digestive phase, and I think this digestive phase could last a little longer because, I, I mean, everything you talk about when you look at oil, look at this SCO, uh, not SCO, I meant to go to USO. Was the United States oil fund giving back almost all the gains from the intraday spike? It made a 58.69 and then a 58.62. Chapman wave two bar reversal uh, late October, uh, and that was at a peak F, and it's gone to lower lows and lower highs. I think this is in a consolidation phase. We, we might get back in, but uh, the best the best of the, uh, the move, uh, we got that part of it now. Does it? start a larger extended move to the downside or does it just chop around and maybe the USO trading at 56 right now test 54 53 and a half and then we start moving back up I'm just not sure about that quite at the moment okay questions here we go FXI FXI is the uh, China large cap ETF made a peak D top this is now a down arrow for a sell signal to a sell mode in the daily Weekly chart sell mode, monthly chart sell mode, and it's at 40.32 after hitting uh, 40, the 42s earlier on for that peak D, Chapman wave peak D turnaround. And yeah, I think it's in that consolidation phase. I, a question I had about, ooh, um, let me just check here. I think I don't know if I got that today as a question. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you uh, right here is. Baba, this is the this is Baba trading uh, from a peak uh, right there in the 180 81 area. Pulls back. It had a huge move down, going from Alibaba went from the 300s down to the 130 137 area. Now uh, it's had a bounce to 181 and it's trading at 167. So this is within range. I'll do Baidu quickly. Uh, Baidu is Baidu, same thing. Baidu is just, it's not acting all that well. It did really well from bouncing off the 130s to the 170s, and now it's stuck at 165. We'll have to watch this closely. Okay, now let's go through this separately, all, all the questions that came in. Could I look at, um, let's see, okay, uh, got that, got that, got that, I wrote it down. Yes, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is trading at an all-time high as we speak in leg C. That's the reason why I said the semis, you've got to be careful. Don't think of shorting the semis because the QQQ is in leg C. That allows the semis to be a bit of a leader here, but the leader of all is NVIDIA, and it's only in leg C. It should make a pullback and then a leg D, and then we have to assess. So now what we're looking at is advanced micro devices. I'm just going to do this quickly. This is now a leg D. So this isn't that D, but huge moves to the upside. So that says any pullback in, in advanced micro devices, um, you've got that at 134.20 right now. Um, you've got that entire 128 to 118 area as support if there is any major turn down. So this is a leader in a group that has been leading and is still leading the semiconductors. Question I had about, where was it, where was it? Um, yes, it is acting like a stream. In fact, some of these uh, some of these stocks, absolutely. I mean, you if this was $10.05 advanced micro devices at the little doji candle, now it's 13.4, I'm taking away a zero. That's a, that's a scream of 30% in just a very brief amount of time. So, yes, these are acting like that. And I suspect 
they are now becoming very overbought that when there is a pullback from here, the Qs are going to be the Q. Because if the QQQ index 100 actually takes a, a deep breath, and that deep breath takes the QQQ from um, the 397 is at the high, all time high as we speak right now, 4.12. There's that one to one I was talking about. If it takes it in this consolidation, whenever it comes, maybe in the next few days, I don't know when it will, but when it does come, it says that key support in the 390 to 383, 382 area, that's going to be really important. But so far, there's nothing to see other than higher highs and much higher lows. Uh, I just do, as we're about to go to the break, uh, SHW, SHW, yeah, this is trying to get, you know, this Sherwin Williams paint product, it has an opportunity at 317 to go to a layer P above that peak C. So I can quite well, I'll be back in a moment. Tell Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. And as I was saying, Sherman Williams trading at 317. If it, if it continues like this, if you go one penny above the 323.82 uh, all-time high that was made on the 28th of October, and that'll start leg D after all. This isn't the paint uh, paint products, and it loves green. Not only that, uh, you know, I, I, I suspect that this particular area should still be doing well under any condition. All right, let's go on. Uh, questions that I had was um, Snap. 
someone said, is this an opportunity to get SNAP? No, I wouldn't be touching things like SNAP. Uh, this is, yes, it could have a balance, but whatever it is that just tanked it from the 75s down to uh, the 50s, I, it's not showing any sign. Yes, it could start a new move to the upside. Rather wait and see higher highs and higher lows rather than grab a falling knife. A question I had about, where did I wrote it down, wrote it down. Um, yeah, Microsoft. Is Microsoft, is, well, do you think Microsoft will continue to be a leader? Well, Microsoft is trading at an all-time high as we speak in leg E, 335.78. So I, I was talking to my son last night about this and saying it's so interesting that the oldies, the ones that go back to the crash of the 2000 um, uh, high when eyeballs were, the, were king and uh, the dot-com bubble burst, um, Qualcomm was there, you know, Qualcomm. Um, and Microsoft was there, Adobe was there. These have all recycled and become leaders. In fact, they've morphed into leaders. They were leaders, then they became obsolete because the technology, they just weren't keeping up. Now, I'm talking about now, meaning in the last five or six years, they have re, this, this is a different company altogether, Microsoft. And it's leading, it's leg E, daily leg, uh, weekly is leg D, monthly is leg D. Looking absolutely great. Qualcomm <clears throat> spiked high today to leg E. It's giving back some, <clears throat> almost at an all-time high. I mean, I don't know if you remember, but Qualcomm was back in 2000. Uh, there's a whole story. I don't want to waste time on that. But in fact, everybody's looking at Qualcomm and then it just absolutely tanked. So this is very interesting because old has become new. Um, that's really important in this game because it means that leadership that has been <clears throat> through cycles before ameliorated all the, the vicissitudes of negativity by having morphed, having recreated products that are absolutely what's needed today. And that's and that seems to be working. All right, so I just wanted to mention that. A question about, um, where, where did it go? Uh, okay, wheat, that's wheat. Uh, wheat is up there, it's near the most recent highs. It's holding okay, it has made a peak E and it could be pulling back a little bit, but it's holding near those highs. Uh, soybeans. Soybean is just acting so poorly. It's been acting poorly for a while. It's the laggard in the grains. Um, it's got the arch formation. And corn, uh, corn has made a peak D, and I think it's starting to pull back. And I suspect that corn uh, will digest with, uh, with making the five, 561 to 554, the 200... No, this is the 14 period exponential moving average, key support on any further pullback. So, um, and that's, that is impacting DBA. DBA, we are long DBA. Uh, it's holding quite nice. It's at four cents at 19.48. Look at this. Look at how many times, this is called the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repelling Zone. Look how many times this has been repelled in that track. Isn't that incredible? Um, we went to a peak E way back in, I think it was May. Let's just check it out. Yeah, May the week of the 7th at 19.36, take a tumble down to the 1750s and then start a move. Peak A, gray peak A, gray peak B, C, and then it makes a D right on that trend line. And then it pulls back sharply to the, to the low 18s. Then it comes right back again, goes to the trend line, pulls back. And now it's making higher lows, but just nominal higher highs. So I'm expecting the grains uh, momentarily either going to just spike to the upside or they could just continue going in a side with being repelled by this line. The more times you hit it, the stronger it gets until pow, you break out and then all of a sudden you've got this tremendous, well-rehearsed reversal area becoming your support area. So we're gonna be watching that for the grains, DBA, uh, DB Agricultural Fund. Uh, another question I had was, um, you had meant, where is it, you had meant, well, I, I can't find, I just have to do it off the top of my head. You had mentioned TMO, the Thermo Fisher, uh, a number of times as being a leader for years and years. Uh, I can't find it. Just what's your assessment now? That Basically, that was it. So TMO, TMO, Thermodynamic, we got long back in June of this year, 
at 484, taking little bits off on the way up, made an all-time high even today. It went to 642.52, fractionally above that peak. Geez, so many of these, so many of what I'm looking at have made Ds and Es, and then the Es just slightly high. A lot of what I'm looking at says we could really have some kind of a pullback. It doesn't have to be a major turn down um, as soon as these highs are completed. And one of the reasons is, look, quick D to E, an all-time high. Wonderful stocks that make all-time highs, you know, my rule of thumb is they tend to continue making highs. Stocks that new all-time lows tend to continue making lows. So these are at an all-time high, uh, going from 484 to 643. Uh, that's a really nice gain in a stock that's up in the, in the, in the hundreds. So... We've I'm not doing anything with this. We're just watching this at this particular point. Not interested in shorting and not interested in adding at this particular point. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, let's see, we've got a question here. Can you look at NVIDIA? Can you please tell me what leg we are in in the five-minute chart? Hi, yeah, yeah. Here we go, NVIDIA. So, folks, if you're using this technique that I have, Chapman Wave methodology, uh, it doesn't matter what the time frame is. The pattern works. I just have a tough time when you're dealing with something that has all these digits after the, the after the point. In other words, when you're doing the currencies, it's really difficult. Oh, you wanted the five-minute chart. It's really difficult to go uh, 0.4635 going to 0.4634, and then I got to see whether I've got a peak or not. Or when it's or that's where automation is fantastic. And Steve Rose has done quite a bit of automation with my Chapman Wave. Um, and bravo to him. It's just that I do it by eye because there are just a, a couple of rules that really can change the count. And if you can do it just visually very quickly, that's one thing. NV, NVDA, NVIDIA. So let's just do this. We're going to take the most recent low. That's this low right here. And that's the low at 2 a.m. this morning. Really? No, 2, 2 p.m. yesterday. I don't do uh, after hours. So this is A. A, B, C, D, E. It's just making an E right now in the five-minute chart. Um, it's still very strong. The MACD is good. Zocastic's flat at 92%. Remember, flat is good. On balance volume says it's getting a little bit toppy. Be careful. It could be, we could see a little bit of a pullback, but nothing yet. And the pullback has at 265.25, it has 282.87 as the nine period experience, green nine period experience moving average, and 280.68. At any time in the next 35 to 40 minutes, if there is a close below 279.30, it says NVIDIA is going to be taking a break. Hope that helps you. Uh, my back. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 46. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, we're back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians, our Dow's down 50, S&P's up 20. This is a divergence that I was looking at and saying, well, we've got to just trade the two subscribers. We're just going to be trading this divergences. We'll see if that's going to work. So Zilla I made a peak D just under the 200 period exponential moving average. It once hit two, it was once at 20.04 back in March of 2020. Ran up tenfold to 208.11. The peak F, I'll turn the count peak F in the uh, monthly chart, pulls back, leg, uh, so this is trough A, trough B, and now it's in trough C, has a gap down, and it goes from uh, just recently 103 to yesterday's low in the 64 area, and it's trading at 69 right now, bounce back of 3.76. What I'm looking at here. And a question uh, came in. Uh, have I, I looked at it in great detail yesterday, but I'm going to do this again today. The move down in Zillow, well, first of all, I mentioned here on air, uh-oh, the word flip. Zillow actually used the word flip in their uh, official announcement. They said, we are going to start flipping houses. That's what they said. I, I think I cut it out and put it somewhere. I don't have it in front of me. A moment they, they say that, I said, oh, no. I mean, they have such a solid business. They're in an area of analysis, documentation. How wrong can you go? People want that. People want that all the time. Now they're going into bricks and mortar. What on earth are they thinking? Um, however, that's not my business. It's their business. And then they announce, oops. It was not just oops, it was a very big oops, and we're going to get out of everything. So that basically says Zillow as a company is capable of making an indirect decision that is monumental to the, to, to, to the characteristic of the original premise of the, of, of the company, and therefore it always takes a long time to correct that kind of uh, um, thinking, but you don't correct it by having the same people in, in place. You have to just toss them out and start new. The same people are now going to be convinced that they've got the new plan. So all I can say is Zillow, I would not touch Zillow. You want to trade it? That's different altogether. Oh, obviously, uh, it is an oversold balance. That's one thing. But as a product, as a company, as a Z from A to Z, A, which we own, which is Agilent, which has had a tremendous pullback after a massive run. We've been long since uh, right here uh, in the 70.69 area, and it's gone all the way to 179. And now it's absolutely struggling. It's gone from 179 to 146. It's trading right now at 157. But it's still a great company. Agilent Technologies, Scientific Solutions for Labs. They did everything right there. 
Now, I think they're just out of favor because this is just not what's working in the market. I don't think there's a fundamental flaw. Is this a, a peak B in the monthly chart or is it something else that I'm not seeing? I'm going to call it a B for now. But this is a big digest. This is very different. I'm just going from A to Z. The only reason why I picked up Azure. Um, so all I can say is I'd be really careful. You want to play quick ones, uh, even maybe options? Absolutely, go ahead. But as a company, I think there's a lot of backing and filling. I would not be surprised if in January uh, we're looking at this having just stalled and gone sideways. And perhaps in the early spring, it starts to have a decent rally again. I mean, a sustainable rally. But this is just wrong thinking. Had to, at least they admitted it, got out of everything. Probably this is the time that they should be doing something. But now they're not. Okay. So um, let's see what happens. So I hope that answers the question. Um, yeah, I think there's more to come down, um, Dana. Uh, yeah, this is a, a dead count, dead cat, dead cat bounce. But that's not the point. It's the wrong thinking. Yes, it made a PD and all that stuff. But this is the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down pattern. I think there's a little more damage to come for a Zillow, but it does limit the upside. And if it even, well, I mean, percentage wise, if it goes from 70 to 78, that's a nice percentage. I'm not saying that. All right. Uh, NOC, question about NOC. NOC is Northrop Grumman. You see, Oh, I had this notated and I, I, I lost it one day and I didn't now have remembered every single couple of minutes I'm saving whatever I can. And that's been tremendous because yesterday out of the blue, it shut down. Wasn't a I don't know what it, why it did it, but it did. Uh, so North, North, North Rupp Grumman hit uh, the 408, 409 area with the doji candle peak D. Plummets below the 200 billion moving average to the 350 level. It's running at 355. I'd be real careful. We had a, a GD, which is um, General Dynamics, and it had a spectacular move. I mean, we, it, it had the move even before we got in. But we got in at um, right here at 199 back on the 7th of October, just a month ago less than a month ago, and it ran all the way to the 210, 211. That's a nice move. And then what happened is all of them got smacked over here with that big candle down. So we we, we had taken profits and we, we're out of it completely now. Um, I just, and look, there's a chap wave inside track, repellent zone, it got repelled there. I'd be careful of anything to do with defense. Just at the moment, I suspect in probably maybe January, February, Maybe they start coming back again, maybe late December. But at this particular point, they really have been smacked quite hard. A question came in here. Let's just see. Uh, go back here. Did I, do I still have NVIDIA? NVDA. Okay. So it's gone. E. Yep, I'm calling that now a new leg F. <laughs> Going to be watching this. Uh, NVIDIA is doing fantastically. Okay. Um, next question. Yes, uh, could you could you you mentioned the other day Pfizer as making a PD? Where is it now? Well, now it's trading down a dollar at forty three point seventy three. This is how powerful these PDs can be. I'm putting in a down arrow right now. Um, I shouldn't do that. No, price wise, I have to. It could bounce, but really, it's pulling back quite sharply. Merck as well. So what I was doing is I was looking at at these as possible defense stock, defensive, not defense, but defensive stocks. Merck is the one that's really doing spectacularly. It's at 90 right now. Now this is an all-time high. It's broken out A, B. I have to even consider this is now just a new leg C in the monthly chart. Merck is, is the leader out of the two. I, I mentioned I would tell you which one I thought was better at the time. I thought Merck was doing very nicely. Yes, but look at this quick peak D, pulls back for a bar, and then goes to leg D. This is what I'm saying. I think that leg E, and this is a recycle, but it can't. There's no other ladder. So that's why I'm saying I think we're getting real close to some kind of a pullback. I don't know what it'll be, but I think some kind of a pullback is um, going to Yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry. We got stopped out by like a penny or two out of our SCO, and now it's up in the 1325 area. It just all moved too quickly. That's been my contention that these move so quickly. 
basically I know what I should have done, shoulda, coulda, woulda, not the issue, we make very nice money, he'll be back in something like this, he'll see, don't worry about it, I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, folks, we're back. Final segment. And don't forget, tomorrow I will be doing my show 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. We record and play at this time. So uh, be ready for that. And the other thing I want to say, we've got great programming coming up. Go to Larry event. You've got uh, Steve. You've got then you've got uh, Think or Swim with Kevin Hanks. Then you've got uh, Larry, uh, Steve Rose, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Uh, uh, the Dow's down 78, down 80 points right now. So just based on the traffic methodology, <clears throat> we've taken some precaution right here. We're watching this closely to see if the Dow does have some kind of a pullback, needs bad news to really get everything going. There isn't anything right now, so it's just purely based on this particular technique. We'll see if that's going to work. The S&P is still very strong, uh, but it is in leg D. The QQQs, that's the one that says, you know what, together with semiconductors, there could be enough residual strength to maybe pull back, maybe even... Uh, it can't be uh, Friday after but early next week it makes some kind of a top and then pulls back a little bit but as long as there isn't news that affects the market that makes the volatility index which is at 1507 go up into the 1680 1750 area and then hold at the close that says things are okay right now so based on what we're looking at 
is very selective. That's why we're still looking at long positions. We missed one earlier this morning. I gave it until 10 minutes past 10 to get. Otherwise, I'm not interested. So being very selective here on the long side, getting close to once again start looking at potential shorts. I haven't done that uh, in anything other than very selective areas. So, and watch crude oil because crude oil did exactly what we were looking for. I suspect crude oil is going to make an arch formation and continue down lower over the next coming days. We'll see what happens there. Have a wonderful, um, have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow uh, early in the morning, 8 o'clock. Hope you can be there. And stay tuned. Great programming coming up. And have a great day.